Then I got to the meet, look, the IS is already making friends. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, coming to car meets by yourself is pretty awkward, especially when you're stuffing a camera in your face to film. Nice little lineup of civics here at the meet. I like this Mugen one, or Mugen, as you guys would say it. Nice little NA piece. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I went to a car meet last night, I tried to film a video for you guys, but I just wasn't feeling it. Going to meets by yourself is so whack. It is one of the wackest things you could ever do, especially filming videos. Right now we're on the way to a special place to uh, pick up some stuff for the apartment. Well, at least look at more stuff. I'm not going to pick up anything until Monday. Hopefully, fingers crossed that I can. unbelievably long editing session at Starbucks what I thought was gonna be like an hour to two hours turned out to be more like three and a half at least at this point I know the furniture store is open for sure we're gonna grab a quick lunch and then go look for some desks and other things that I need to get for the new apartment yay our Kia I know there's gonna be that one guy in the comment section be like well you show up at Ikea well you know what they got stuff for a good price and furniture is expensive so I want to get something good for cheap this is like the perfect place to do it shopping for furniture is literally like that one meme I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram but it's like spends four thousand dollars in race car parts it's like totally okay buys $30 t-shirt complains the entire time how the t-shirts not worth it that's how it feels buying furniture I know it sounds dumb it's like when it comes to cars and everything you can shell out cash all day and justify it in every way so today's objective is looking at desks we're in the workspace section of Ikea looking at a bunch of things I kind of like this one this one's cheap too and I like that there's just a random hole for I'm assuming a lamp cable I don't know what that could be Ikea is one of the coolest places ever, I swear. Pretty successful trip, got a good idea of how much stuff costs. When I was in middle school, I used to come here with friends and we used to have the most intense games of hide and go seek ever. Literally would take us like an hour to finish a game. I mean, when you're like 14 and got no driver's license and there isn't much to do in the suburb, stuff like that would go a long way. A new challenger has arisen. All jokes aside, black STIs look really, really nice. I came home in an attempt to unpack and organize a couple more things. I don't think you guys have seen the garage yet, but like I mentioned before in a previous video, the two car garage, this is Captain Klug's spot. We have a hookup also for a washer and dryer, which is huge. Living at the Airbnb kind of sucked just because I had to go offsite to a coin machine. Never have used a coin machine my entire life until like recent times in life. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant experience. Like it really isn't that bad. Honestly, it's just like an inconvenience. Like one of those things like living in a house, like you obviously don't have to deal with that. Like you have your washer and dryer. And it's just one of those things you don't think about until it's missing and you're like, damn. That was like, that was kind of nice having that. But soon, I'll pick up the Evo. The Evo's gonna be in the garage, and then Captain Klug's gonna be right here with the red the red guy. It'd be cool to get some kind of like mount, or actually I can mount something right there or something to have my bike hanging, kind of like in Lorenzo's garage. Love that this thing is actually motorized too, it's tight. It's a little noisy, but it's sick. I'm such an idiot. The other day I went to Target and I didn't realize that a bunch of these actual hanger heads were snapped off until I already took them home and I was gonna hang some clothes right now. I realized these are broken, so I gotta go back and exchange them. So Captain Klug is at the shop right now. I'm heading over to 9K Racing. There's really nothing going on. I've literally been like scrambling for the past 20 minutes to how to continue this video. Nothing going on. I was gonna go shoot some photos of a few friends' cars, but it doesn't look like they're doing anything tonight. At least it's car related because they're all wifed up and doing stuff with their girls, which is kind of typical for Friday night. So I'm gonna go meet up with Captain Klug. He's gonna start getting stuff ready for his hydro install tomorrow. Um, and let's go see what's going on at the shop. We have just arrived at the shop and there are so many cars here. It's ridiculous. I haven't seen as many cars here in a really long time. We got 350. We got Mo Supers Daily that I thought he sold, but apparently he hasn't sold yet. We got the Clout Canoe. Ooh, the Clout Canoe is here. Your guys' favorite Midnight Purple R33. This is actually my, one of my favorite OEM colors that Nissan makes. Oh, it looks so good. So good. So this is the new daddy that's going on the Cressida. So we got all these things to install. We got some of these things, Damn some of these, Ooh. Yeah, don't drop that. <laughs> some, of the, some of these things. Oh, we got the little cows, We got all sorts of things. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I don't know if fun, but it's going to be fun, be fun when it's done. It's gonna... <laughs> That's true, when you get to use it. But you said this is a pull-up style, too. Uh, that, or... It will be. 
Oh, you're so, gonna convert it? Yeah, I'm gonna drill a hole around this region and we'll flip it over. Because ASD offers this style and then they offer a pull-up style, but the, it's like a weird bend that goes up and over like that. And I feel like the handle's too high and I don't really like it. Right. I want to sit lower so that way when I'm in the seat, I, I have more leverage. I have further to pull it upward. Because if it's already so far up, then it's like a Tyrannosaurus pull. I yeah, <laughs> Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> oh my god. We got the gold daddy. We got Jesse, the PUBG master, aka Mr. Cosmetic. Thank you. He's, thank he's you. the body man, the body work. I, I massage the body. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just got done installing this APR splitter and what else? The front lip on top of a splitter, or underneath the splitter. Oh, I see it. So it's it's lip a lip face. on top of a lip. No, yeah, I'm just kidding. On top of lip face. I'm really curious to see when they finish up this guy's Supra. Um, this guy is, what's his name? Oh. There he is, 2JZ Luna. I wanna see this guy's car when he's done. They've been putting in mad work, mad hours on this car. Got a bunch of stuff going on. Flex fuel, I believe. He's got a big precision turbo on there. This one is gonna be pretty rad. This is Joey, the owner's car. The rear end on his S13 is absolutely insane. SPL makes all these parts, and last time I saw him there in the box, now he's got it on. Looks insane. The detail on this car is gonna be pretty gnarly when it's finished. He's got a big old daddy, little fuel cell. I saw the car is running. Yeah. Is oh, running. I got the camera. The clout canoe. You got the camera. You got the clout camera. The clout canoe is alive. Alive and what? HK, that's like a $200 belt right there. It is. <laughs> I didn't even put it on my car, bro. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. <laughs> got this original Koki for sale. This thing's so tight. What about the nose? Dude, this what thing's about sick. The nose? Look, look, look. What? I don't even stitch it. Oh, yeah. yeah. He doesn't like going in the Supra. Oh, no, bro. He already knows what's up right now. <laughs> Stop it. He's going. He's going. Uh -oh. Last time we saw this thing, it had no motor in it. It's got a motor in it. It's got a new head. It's got cams. He's going to show you all the goodies right now. He's like, send help. Look at him. He's like, help me, guys. Help me. I feel like we need insert it's suspenseful. Dirty, though, man. It's really dusty. Like Insert like suspenseful music right now. Oh, it's not that dusty. What you talking yeah, about, boy? This, what you talking about, boy? Hot. It's not that dusty. That looks sick, dude. Hell yeah, this is sick. Thank you. It looks tight. Different turbo, it had just basic valve cover set up. Um, I, have, I just put this wrinkle black from Take Man Fulton. Yeah, it looks really good. Wrinkle black always. Cam gears, red pulley kit down there. I used to rock a, a water bottle as my coolant overflow, but now I had upgraded to the Mishimoto. Nice, nice. And no more water bottle life. And you're on a BC, some Brian Crower cams. Yeah, BC cams. 264s. Uh, 264s. Tell me cam gears. Yep. Wait, what? What? Uh, what fuel pump are you running? It's a Wabro 400 LPH. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Wabro makes good stuff. It's a single pump right now, but hopefully, maybe within the next few months, I'll, I'll hit it with a double pumper. Oh, you're gonna go double pumper? Sick. Yeah. Are you gonna go with two 400s, or are you gonna? Yeah. Do with, like, I'm gonna just drop in another one. That's good. That's a good way to do it. Hell yeah, man. Dope, man. Yeah, it looks sick. Let's hear it. No. Let it let it rip. Just kidding. Let Mo's rip. doing uh, some data logging, so he can't rip it yet. Yeah, sorry guys. I've been bugging Mo for some time that I wanted to hear the Cam 2J. Uh, there's only one other Jay Z or maybe two that I've heard with cams in person. They sound really really sick, which is why I wanted to get you guys the sound clip of what it sounds like. Now it's got the 264s in there. If you guys want to see Mo's car rip it on E85 soon, hit that like button or drop a comment down below. His MK4 is a really nice car. factor to drive this car or yeah, car, whatever. You might need that. I might need that. <laughs> I might. <laughs> might start up first try, it might not. Oh, okay. No worries. They understand the struggle. Everyone understands. Next piece of missing information. What? My car key. Oh. Do you, you have it? Do you have the car keys? I do have the car keys. <laughs> That's louder than before. Yeah. yeah. That's noisy. <laughs> no, it's noisy, dude. It's loud. The contenders. Well, I know only one. The battle. Three. The battle between the one J and the two J. Don't do it, Derek. He's got a brand new head under the hood. 
I don't you can't tap me like that, man. Break my shit. <laughs> this is how loud his car is at idle. This is warm idle right now. That is stupidly loud. Listen to that. That thing sounds so good. Oh my god. I need a Jay-Z at some point in my life. I think you're I think you're stuck. Huh? You're stuck. Last time we tried to film this car, the same thing happened where a semi truck just literally stopped in the, in the middle of the road. He was telling me, he said, man, every time I got the camera and the Supra's out, this always happens. It's all good though, it's not this guy's fault. The gate was locked so you couldn't even pull the truck in anyway. On a side note though, I'm really in love with this S14 Koki. If you guys don't know, this is actually like one of my dream cars to one day have one of these. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, but it's just like, as a car dude, like you want so many cars, you know what I mean? And that car right there, definitely one of them. Wow, the real contender. The real contender. There could only be one good drifting red Cressida in this 30 mile radius. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Rodney. We love you. Straighten out, ass fool. <laughs>
busy ignition breaking up that he couldn't even use the BR. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this random video of just kind of just nonsense. I'd rather get you guys some type of video than no video at all. Storyline was a little wacky. I know that. I accept that. But hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. If you guys enjoyed the skyline and four door, one Jay-Z goodness and just other stuff, please hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys want to support the videos too, you guys can check out my web store for my apparel stuff. I'm actually going to put everything just pretty much on the flash sale really soon just because I want to move all the merchandise I have right now so that I can get the next order started. I have some ideas that I want to kind of put in and kind of put into action, um, but in order to do so, I got to get rid of the stuff I have now. But as always, huge shout out to all you guys for watching the videos. You guys are all the best. I really appreciate all your support. Hope you guys have a great day or night. I'll see you guys all next video. Peace out.